So let me share with you guys a little story here. Now, before I tell it, just know that this is a silly little story about a silly little boy who wanted a silly little toy. That's all it is. But I'm going to tell it anyway. So it's my 10th birthday. It's my 10th birthday. And they take me to the store to get my toy. And before we got there, I knew what I wanted. I knew exactly what I wanted. And there were two things that I wanted. I wanted two things. I don't want 10 or 20 or 30 things. I wanted two things, just two. One of the things I wanted was the Lion King on VHS. And the other thing I wanted was a Power Ranger toy known as the Dragon Zord. You see, I wanted the Lion King because it was my favorite movie as a kid. And I think it still is to this day. But I also wanted the Dragon Zord because Power Rangers was my favorite show. I remember I would get out of fourth grade, I'd run, I'd grab my mom by the hand, and I'd drag her home because Power Rangers would start 10 minutes after school let out. And in those days, if you weren't there, you missed it, you missed it. There was no DVR. So the Dragon Zord is what I wanted also because the year before, on my ninth birthday, I got the Megazord. And so this year, the Dragon Zord would have completed the set and my life. So there were two things. I had the Lion King on this hand, and I had the Dragon Zord on this hand. And I could only choose one because we didn't have money. We had no resources growing up. We had nothing growing up. We didn't have a house. We didn't have an apartment. There was five of us and we lived in a room, literally in a room. And it was half the size of my classroom. And we didn't have beds. We slept on the ground covered with our clothes. Anyways, that's a different story for a different time. Going back to my 10th birthday, Lion King, Dragon Zord. Which is it, Lee? You can only have one. But I wanted both. And so 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes later, I finally made up my mind. And I remember this like it was just yesterday. This took place at the mall, at Stonewood Mall in Downey, California. It took place on the east wing of the mall at KB Toys. KB Toys was Toys R Us's competition in the 90s. So I was at KB Toys, Lion King on one hand, Power Rangers Dragon Zord on the other. Pick one. 10, 20 minutes later, I finally made up my mind. Literally came to a decision and literally went with the Lion King on VHS. And I loved it. I loved it. I went home and I watched it like a thousand times. I remember the VHS tape. It came packaged in this oversized clunky clamshell type of plastic casing. I loved it. It's my favorite movie. But there was a part of me that there was a missed opportunity with the dragon sword because they quickly pulled them from the shelves and that was it. They have never reproduced the dragon sword as it was originally presented in 1993. Gone forever. But to this day, I still have a need in me to have that dragon sword. 2020, I still need it. 26 years later, I still want it. Ask my niece and nephew to this day. Anytime I pick them up to go to the store, we'll go to Target, we'll go to Walmart, we'll go to the toy store. Anywhere we go to, I always do the same thing. I eventually end up at the toy section and I walk down the action figure aisle, hoping and praying that someday I come across the original Dragon Sword. 26 years later, nothing. 26 years, nothing. So, present day. Technology and resources being what they are. I took to the web. You see, if you Google search Dragon Zord, and if you hit on the shopping tab, you're gonna find about, you're gonna find about 100 people on planet Earth who are selling a Dragon Zord. 100. But the problem there is that out of the 100 people, about 80 of them are selling a version of the Dragon Zord that was recently released. You see, there's like a modern updated Dragon Zord version that they dropped not too long ago. Mm -mm, no, 
No interest in that. That's not going to remove my trauma. That's not going to do it. So uh, out of the 100 sellers, 80 of them are selling the new stuff. I don't want that. I want the original. That narrows it down to 20 people on earth who are selling what I want, what I need. But the problem there is that out of these 20 people, about 15 to 16 of them are selling a used product. They've opened the box. They've taken out the dragon sword. They applied the stickers. They've pushed all the buttons. Then they got tired of it. They put it back in the box and now they're trying to sell it to me. No, thank you. Or maybe it wasn't even that extensive. Maybe all they did was break the factory seal, remove it halfway, inspect it, put it back, and they're trying to sell it to me. Again, I say, no, thank you. That narrows it down to maybe about three people on earth, three people on earth who are selling a brand new factory sealed 1993 dragon sword. Maybe only three on earth. But I found one and I bought it. And it's inside of this box. Now, I don't know what to do. A part of me wants to just open this now. But another part of me wants to give this box to my sister so that she can open the box, so that she can take out the dragon sword, so that she can drive to Target, so that she can place my dragon sword on a shelf in the toy section, so that then I could go in and walk down the action figure aisle and finally bring a sense of completion to this event that occurred to me on my 10th birthday. But again, another part of me just wants to rip this box open now. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. So why don't you tell me? What should I do?